Hi there, Homespun friends. It is Sherry, and it's wonderful to see you this afternoon. As you can see, I'm coming to you from a different location. I'm in my bedroom right now where the fan is blowing full blast overhead. It is a scorcher here in North Carolina today. The weather says it feels like 100 degrees outside and I'm not surprised. It, it got warm fast and our spring was gone in the blink of an eye and that's how it usually happens. But I wanted to take a moment this afternoon and share with you my scripture writing for today. And um, scripture writing is something that, you know, I started doing uh, here on YouTube with you guys. I just felt God leading me in that direction. And I encouraged and invited all of you to come over and join me on Facebook. And for those who are not on Facebook, you certainly can uh, go right along and write scripture every day. Um, and it is a blessing to do it. It gives us accountability. And having a guide helps me. I feel like I'm able to stay on course if I have a guide that I'm following. And, and so that's important to me. It helps me in the way that my personality is designed. For you, it may be different, um, but for me, it seems to help. In the scripture writing group over there, and many of you are members, um, we are able to be encouraged by one another. I know many ladies share prayer requests or praise reports and um, they're always quick to like and respond when we post our scriptures over there on the page and that just helps keep us going because so many times in life especially when it comes to daily uh, scripture and um, bible reading and devotion time and our daily relationship with the lord we just sometimes want to give up we might get discouraged or we might get tired um, and we might have obstacles that come in our path and we think this is just not working out for me I'm just going to stop and I have been there myself at, and many times and and so in saying that to you I do believe having sisters in Christ that love us and help us it is meaningful to continuing to try to live the the right relationship that we should have with the Lord and to continue reading God's Word and not to give up because his word transforms us and, um, and it makes our lives uh, it makes our lives follow his purpose and so that's what I find that scripture writing does for me and it doesn't mean that we're always perfect and it doesn't mean that we always do the things we should it means it holds us fast to a track and when we're getting off the path and we're starting to move away from it when we're following and writing out God's Word every day we can feel that so much more if we're starting to go away from God's Word and do things or think things that we shouldn't then it's like it's like you have that thing that's nudging you back to keep you on the narrow path and so I really do find that scripture writing has been uh, one of the the best things that I've ever done um, to help me in my relationship with the Lord now the scripture that we had for today is one that is very familiar to us matter of fact most of us have heard it since we were children it's one of the first few verses that I learned as a child myself and I think sometimes when we come to those very familiar verses, we just kind of skim over them, you know. We just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we've heard them for many years. But it's very important that we take a look at what these scriptures mean. And the scripture today is from Psalm 55, 22. And this is the little um, illustration that I drew to go along with the scripture for today. And the scripture says, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. And so I drew here, uh, you know, I think about casting, um, I think about throwing, and then we hear many fishermen um, use the term, I cast the line in the water. And so here I drew a, a fishing pole, and um, it's it's got the little uh, um, bait here, and, and on this is our burdens. And we are to just throw our burdens out there, cast our burdens out onto the Lord and he will sustain us he will keep us he will hold us up um, he will take those burdens and allow us to be lifted and so this is what I take from the scripture today and as I think about um, casting my burdens on the Lord you know when we cast something out um, we let go right no, we just we let go of that. Now, as I'm thinking about you know this fishing line, we do we do sort of sometimes hold on to that pole, don't we? We hold on to the pole. But here, the scripture is referencing casting it on the Lord, and then as much as we possibly can, letting it go, letting Him have it, letting Him take over, so that we can have peace. 
because we know that we're promised that he will sustain us and help us. Um, I'm often reminded uh, by my husband that the sin that Christians most love to brag about is worry. We love to brag about worrying. Oh, well, I'm worried about this, and I'm concerned about that, and I have a burden for this. And it seems like if we're not careful, all we're ever doing is talking about the worries and cares of life. When in truth, the scripture guides us to cast those burdens on the Lord and to know in our hearts he's promised to take care of them. Now, what does it mean when it says he will never permit the righteous to be moved? I kind of looked up what this meant because I, I was, you know, I was thinking, what is that? What won't let us be moved? He'll hold us firm. I do believe that he will hold us firm. And you think, well, who is righteous? Which one among us can be counted as righteous? Well, none. Our only righteousness is through Christ. And we know this. And so those who trust in Christ, who are trying to follow him, who are trying to do as he wants us to do, they will not be moved. And when we also read the interpretation of the scripture, it says that the Lord, as he's talking about the righteous won't be moved, what he's saying is the problems will be moved. The problems will be moving over us. That We will not be under that burden forever that we won't be moved, but the problems will pass over. And um, I've told you this before in a previous video that one of my mother's favorite sayings is, this too shall pass. Did any of you ever have a mother or grandmother that told you that? My mother used to say that quite a bit when we were going through difficult times. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And so I am reminded through this scripture that our burdens will pass over and the Lord will sustain us. And it reminds me of another verse in the Bible that my husband preached about recently and his comments really stayed with me and this was out of let me look down it's um out of Psalm 103 14 and it says he knows your frame he knows your frame and my husband preached a sermon about this and I I was so touched by the comments that the Lord led him to share God knows our frame he knows how we're made. He knows how we're created. He knows how much we can take. He knows the burdens. You've heard, heard somebody say, I just can't take anymore. God's just put too much on me. I hear people, I've heard people through my life say that too. And sometimes I have felt that way myself. But the scripture tells us God knows our frame. And he, he knows what we can take. And he knows the burdens that we carry. And he is building our faith and he is building more trust in our relationship with him day by day. And we simply need to take those burdens, put them on him, recognizing that these burdens will pass. They're going to pass over and he is going to hold us up. He is going to sustain us. So that was my scripture writing for today, friends. I just wanted to take a moment and share that devotion with you. Whatever you are going through right now, I just want to encourage you. I'm going through some things too, and they're kind of hard sometimes. But we can trust in the Lord because he is perfectly able to carry all of our burdens. It's been a joy to spend time with you this afternoon, friends. And like always, I look forward to next time. Bye-bye.